Hey there, meaty friends. This is Reed, aka Carnivore Chef. If you're a creative, you definitely know what it's like to get stuck trying to make something new. I was staring at a pack of ground beef, hoping something would come to me for a solid 20 minutes. I finally decided on just making some meatballs for lunch to change it up. As soon as I thought about changing it up, I realized I wanted some nacho cheese. That's when the inspiration for meatball nacho struck. I know it's not crunchy, but get over yourself and make a platter of these and share them with your family and friends. I bet they'll like you a little more if you do. And I'll like you just a little more for liking and subscribing. To begin, let's get some ground beef. I've been using 90% lean for a while now, but feel free to use whatever works for you. For this recipe, I took about 1.5 ounce wads of meat and rolled them into meatballs. Feel free to make them whatever size you want, but make sure they're consistent. To make the perfect meatball, take the wad of meat and mash it between your hands 12 times before rolling it between your cupped hands seven times. It's a secret formula that I'm releasing to the world, so you're welcome. Now, I didn't just slap nacho cheese on meatballs and call it a day. I made a seasoning as well. One tablespoon of fine salt, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of granulated garlic, and a quarter teaspoon of optional chipotle powder. Give this spicy mix a little taste. Sprinkle one side of your balls generously with your seasoning before bringing it over to a pan to start to cook. Place a pan over medium high heat and place each ball seasoning side down. Season them again and let them cook for about two minutes. The theme of these meatballs is flip and season, flip and season, flip and season, flip and season, flip and season. You should really only need to flip and season these two to three times before transferring them to a serving dish. I'm using this tiny sheet pan. Just make sure they're close together so we can add a little cheese later to help make them cohesive. Throw these into an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes to let them cook through. While we wait on that, let's make a nacho cheese sauce. I've definitely made this before on the channel, so here's a quick rundown. Quarter cup of heavy cream, two teaspoons of pickled jalapeno juice, a half teaspoon of our seasoning, and seven slices of trash cheese. Throw this all over a double boiler and warm through until a sauce is formed. Keep the pot over low heat while we head back over and give our fully cooked balls some attention. If you have a lot of accumulated fat or water from your meatballs from cooking, feel free to drain and discard or maybe even add to your nacho cheese. Sprinkle, sprinkle a little cheddar and just a touch more seasoning over these and throw them under a broiler for about four minutes just to lightly brown the cheese. It's finally time to top these puppies. Honestly, feel free to top them with whatever you want. I went with nacho cheese, salsa, and a little green onion, but these are really good by themselves. Maybe dipped in sour cream or even guacamole if you're someone that enjoys that kind of thing. This first bite is for the Patreon community. Thank all of you and I love you. You know, there's an easier way to do this, like using pork rinds, but I'm trying to back off from the pork rinds. They'll be back, but I'm just trying to back off.